I want you to meet somebody talking about the history of WGN Radio. Mark, come in here, please. This is Marlene Wells. Come on over here. This is the 100th anniversary of WGN. I'm not 100. No, no, no. You are definitely not 100. <laughs> but for how many years have you been here at WGN Radio? Uh, October will be 55. 55 years at WGN. More than and I'm still on probation. Still on probation. Well, they have a strict policy here. Uh, we love her so much. She's in promotions and marketing and uh, does so much for us all. Uh, she is going to be featured on this documentary that will be on tonight. And of course, it wouldn't be a look back at WGN Radio if we didn't look back at our old pal Uncle Bobby, yeah. the great Bob Collins. Take a look. I agree with Bob about half the time. Really? That much? But I listen to him all the time. Hey, thanks for turning your knob to Bob. Bob Collins. Uh, good morning, Ron. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Good. I have a question I'd like to uh, Somebody may have an answer to it. If I don't know the answer, I'll be glad to make something up. Once again, the annual question. Minus three. If it's zero degrees uh -huh. and it's going to be twice as cold tonight, mm -hmm. what's it going to be? Zero squared. <laughs> well, Paul Harvey's news and commentary can be heard at noon and at 3.30 this afternoon. The rest of the story on WGN. Chicago awakened this morning with a heavy heart. Though still somewhat unconvinced that the jovial voice of Bob Collins on WGN will not be there anymore. Bob died in a light plane crash yesterday. And our prayers, of course, are with Chris and all of his personal family and, and with the legions who never met Uncle Bobby. And, and yet to them, he was also family. Somebody will take his job. Nobody will take his place. Yeah, this special tonight will uh, definitely give you a few tears, but also uh, quite a few laughs. It's on tonight at 7 o'clock on WGN-TV. John Williams is getting ready to do his show. Hey, Good morning, John. Th this is so cool, this artifact, right? Yeah, the staff really has been good at keeping our history alive. This is the logbook from 1925. Yes. First of all, handwriting was better back then, Much Dean. Better. Yep, that's true. You couldn't read yep. our handwriting today. And then it's a minute-by-minute -minute description of what happened happened on November 28th yeah, in 1925. Yeah, we also don't keep records like that anymore <laughs> as well. Have a good show this morning, John. And uh, guys, we will uh, go to a break. Nine at nine, coming right up.